Yo, how's it going everyone? It's your boy Ryan Mahalik here and today I'm going to be on the hardest map in Bloon Sea Battles 2 which is Port using what I think is the meta. Really interesting strategy here. Heli, Sub, and Spike Factory. So without further ado, let's get it. Alright, here we go guys. We are on the map um, Ports here with my favorite strategy on this map actually. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite strategies because it's really interesting. It is Gwendolyn, Heli, Submarine, um, Gwendolyn, Heli, Submarine, and Spa Spike Factory. So yeah, it's actually really good on this map. And it looks like my opponent here is playing the Dartling. So gotta watch out for that. I wonder what they're bringing with Dartling though. Dartling Druid, okay. The double Ds. Dartling Druid. Nice to see that. Ooh, you do leak so much early game with this strategy though, so it, get, it can get really spooky. Because targeting the heli is really difficult on this map, it always targets weird for some reason. So we gotta make sure we're cautious there with the targeting to make sure we don't die. But um, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Hopefully we can get my quad dartes and start to eat up all these balloons all the way to the front of the track. This is gonna be the goal there. Okay, looks like we're doing that pretty well. Nice, nice, nice. And we'll send them some blue balloons. But then I actually want to go to Spaced Eco here pretty soon. Because I need to save up for an early reactor. So I'll probably send blues to about 400 Eco and then I'll just Spaced Eco at them. Will be the nice game plan there. There we go. I want, I want the heli to like be consistently target in the same direction there. So hopefully once I place like this, it'll just tar constantly target down this line. This is going to be the game plan. And it looks like we are achieving that. So it's hype. I'm also going to place my submarine down right here. Nice, nice, nice. And let's start space decoding. Cool. Happy with this so far. I'm happy with this so far. Um, What do we think the other tower is? So they have Dartling, they have Druid. I don't really know. Maybe Spike Factory? Like, I don't know what they would bring. Dartling and Druid's definitely a solid combination, but on a hard map like this, is it possible to pull off is the question. So for the submerged support and the reactor, that's about $3,300 that we need. And our heli sells for $1,050. So I'll need... $2,250 $2, on hand to forward it. To forward what I want here. So always just want to be sure you know those numbers there, guys. Those numbers are very important for us. Okay. One more income boost, and I can afford. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what we wanted. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we can max eco because we have our reactor down. And the reactor does the work, boys. The reactor does the work indeed. Let's get the barbed darts here in a little bit. Just so I don't, this doesn't get pierced capped. Because the starting pierce of it is actually really bad, believe it or not. So I want to make sure no pierce caps happening here. But yeah, I think we are pretty solid right now. I wonder if they'll defend. They're probably going to struggle a little bit to yellow balloons, maybe. If I balloon boost them, so I think I'm going to send them some yellows here and see um, how well does this does to them. After they got, we got their Dartling chasing a little bit from these blocks. I'll send some greens first just to layer over. And then we'll send some yellows. We'll balloon boost this. We actually forced a Druid upgrade. Is that enough? It looks like it may be enough. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, good, good defend on their part. Good defend. Not going to lie. They did a pretty good job there. Pretty solid job. Now we'll just base take on our heli down. We will need a um ballistic missile for around 13 all outs and all that type of stuff. So I'll work on getting that down here in a little bit as well. Which I think I'll place up here. Yeah. I'll place the ballistic missile right up here. Well, I don't know. I don't know where I want to place it, actually. Uh, we'll just place it right here, because I'll get the advanced intel on it, and then I'll give it more range. Yeah. That's going to be the game plan right there. In case they rush me, that is. Let's get the heat tip darts as well, just to make sure that has more pierce. We'll get this ballistic missile on strong. In case they rush me. It looks like they got their hydropods up, so they're Gucci. There. Okay, okay, okay. And they have the ult to equal with the druid. Yeah, the strategy seems pretty decent. I just don't know what their third tower is, because like the current strategy would probably struggle a bit to DDTs. So... Yeah, it just depends what their third is. Looks like they're placing another druid. So that's, they still got the druids going. Not revealed it. Blow it back. Oh, why did I boost? I'm so stupid. Why did I boost that? I literally was fine. I'm so stupid. Oh, I don't know why I boosted. Okay. 
That was a really bad decision on my part. Okay, we wasted a boost. We wasted a boost. When I could have just cocktailed her, I would have been fine doing nothing. But, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. We just want to save up for my heli farm now. Looks like they're saving up for druid farms. Fair enough. But, yeah. I think we'll be fine against rushes for the most part here. I have the cocktail. I can remember. I've got to remember I can use that whenever I need it. The good thing about this map with the heli is like you can blow back the mobs with the mob shove, and then you can blow back all the ceramics with the downdraft. So the like the map being weirdly laid out it isn't necessarily as bad when you have heli since all the blowback with stuff. If that makes sense, I probably did a really bad job of explaining that, but um, I hope some of you guys understood what I was trying to say. But yeah. At least that's my thought process on this map. Let's get like 850 eco, just a tiny bit more. Just makes me feel happy inside. Do I send them a Moab? I don't think so, in all honesty. I think we just, we chill. They're gonna struggle against ZOMGs is the thing. Like ZOMGs will be an issue for them. A same with fortified mobs. I'll probably send some fortified mobs their way. One mob shouldn't be an issue. Cause we can blow back all the ceramics as I said before. Yeah, we're good there. I don't know. I don't know if I needed that tri triple guns. I just got it up to be safe. But yeah, yeah, I probably didn't need the triple guns. Actually, I definitely didn't need the triple guns. Okay, they got ninja. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have sent two. I just wanted to force a um sticky bomb, but I think one would have done it. Two is probably a little bit unnecessary. Oh, actually, look at look at that. We forced two selling of um selling of two druid farms there. That's actually really good. Okay, you know that was better than I expected. But I'm not sure if I need to send two mobs there. I think only sending one would have gotten the same thing done, in all honesty. So two was probably a bit of a um, oversend on my part. Let's boost this. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Nice. Look at that. Okay. We did that without selling a heli farm, which is really what I wanted. If I can avoid selling heli farms, that's really good for me. Let's get up a mob shove against this. After that's in the range of my... Okay, good. We're good there. We're good there. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good so far. I think we're doing pretty solid. Our heli farms are good. Like, the heli farms are really good that we have them up. But it looks like their DDT defense is the ninja, okay. Do I send them a ZMG? Ooh, a ZMG could actually be really deadly to them. Let's send them one. We'll sell this. We'll actually, sell that, get up a support chinook, and then I'll send them a ZMG afterwards. So I get some more income com coming in first. Yeah, ZMGs are going to be really deadly to them. I just re now realize. Like, they have the ninja, but on a map like this, I don't know. Because you don't have sub for, they don't have sub for the ZMGs like I do. I feel like they're going to struggle a lot to this. Looks like they use a Sabo. They're going for some Dartlings. Okay. Which Heli Farm on? Look how many look how many Druids they sold. They like sold all their Druid farms. And I think they're still going to struggle to this quite a bit. Yeah, that's a really good rush right there. That's a really good rush for me. To send them. Because now we can just farm on while they have to sell all their farms. Okay, we're going to spike storm right there. We're going to get a, um, what's it called? I don't need this anymore. I don't need that anymore. We're going to get a spiked walls in the back. 
Ooh, actually, I probably do. Yeah, I need a mob shove at least for these AI mobs. Because I have nothing on the AI path is the problem. Let's see if they send me DTs here. If they do, I need to do some spike store micro. Doesn't appear they are. Okay. Could get another heli. Nice. I can get another heli there. Alright, this is the latest one game's ever gone on this map, by the way, guys. I've never gone late on this map, so this is getting really scary. Okay. The thing is, I can use a first strike capability here soon. No! Wait, I won! I won! Yes! I don't know what they died to. Dude, that was actually so intense. The DDTs were coming in and I had to micro everything. Oh, I thought I was going to lose there. Let's go, boys! Alright, I'll catch y'all on the next one. That was hype. Alright, guys, we're on another game here on ports, and I've actually switched up my strategy here a little bit. I switched out Spike Factory for Ninja, because I got a comment in one of my videos to try to test this out. So, we're going to test it out. We're going to give it a run this time. I think Ninja's going to do a similar job as Spike Factory, but the question is, is it better than Spike Factory? Or is it worse? on this map in specific. I'm not sure. It looks like they're going heli here. Mr. Kevin Gaming 64 so they might be bringing a similar strategy to us. That could be interesting. That could be interesting here. But yeah, we're just going to keep my heli right here. Send them these constant reds. Ooh, I think I'll actually send them... Yeah, I'm going to send some blues and greens their way. Um, These are actually going to push a lot because the way the heli targets, these will make them struggle. Oh, they actually go for their quad darts there, so they're going to be Gucci. They're going to be Gucci there against, with the quad darts. Let's get my... Um, Gwendolyn down. Nice. We are going to leak a little bit here, but it's okay. I actually didn't leak that much. I didn't leak near as much as I expected. That's cool. Nice. And we got some hero levels going, which is always nice. Always nice to get those hero levels going. We'll upgrade the quad darts here. And I want to target this as much to the start as possible. Oh, they're going open. Ooh. They're not going Gwendolyn here. They're going Oban. Interesting. Yeah, keep bringing this back and back, farther and farther. Because I want to make sure that um we get layered on the least as possible, which will happen by bringing this heli back. Which is very important for us. And we'll start space decoying as well, because I need to save up for my reactor here. So space decoying is going to help me do that. But yeah. Awesome. We got this all the way back, which is exactly what we want. We'll get my sub down right there. They're doing the same thing. Okay, we're both going to send each other white balloons next round, so it's going to get interesting, I think. After we send each other white balloons. Yeah. They're not going to be able to afford the reactor yet, it's a thing. Like, they're far off from the reactor. So I feel like Kevin Gaming could honestly go down here, believe it or not. Oh, they don't have Gwendolyn. I mean, they don't have Oban. I th they have Gwendolyn. I thought they had Oban for a second. I'm stupid. Balloon boost. Are they dead here? Ooh, we forced a boat. Let's go! We take the dub. Oh my gosh. This strategy is insane. Okay. I'll catch you all in the next game. Okay, guys. I have found Kevin Gaming literally once again. We're on the map. Um, What's this map called? Basalt Columns this time. They bring the camera up here so it doesn't block any towers. But yeah. And they're going tack. Ooh. Right when I said it's, so it doesn't block any towers. Actually, no. It doesn't block the tack. Cool, cool, cool. But um, I'm going to start with my dartling down here. So they're probably going tack sub. So they have a much more aggro strategy than us. But both of us have farm strategies. So this will be an interesting one. This will definitely be an interesting game here. But yeah, we're going to start with our dartling here. And um, I'm not going to actually group deco too much like I normally do. Since they are going an aggro farm strategy, I think putting more money into farms is going to make us better off here. So 
let's not send as much eco as normal and just farm a little bit harder early on because i think we'll be in a better position that way there we go get our farm down a beautiful it's also target Ooh, i actually used the wrong darling spot i i've well i've been using a darling spot like so my darling is down here right that's kind of on the right side of this path and i think it's a little bit better with farm in all honesty but i don't know both don't, both darling spots are honestly good but just i think the other one's a little bit better to be honest with you to keep it a buck with y'all i think the other one's a little bit better to go for the greater production yeah i'm agreed for it i'm agreed for it I'm definitely going to leak a little bit because of that, but I think it's worth, I think it's a worthwhile greed. Yeah, I'll probably leak like 50 lives or so. It's okay. It's totally okay. Faster barrel spin now. Hey, I didn't even leak 50 lives. I leak, oh, never mind. Now I leaked 50 lives because I targeted my dartling. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Alright. We're Gucci. But yeah, let's get my second... Uh, see, I just like the other spot more. The other spot you'll get layered on a lot less because of the path you targeted on. But I think we won't go for another Dartling just yet. I will go for another Dartling, though, eventually, obviously. Eventually, I'm definitely going to go for another Dartling. Do I send them White Balloons? Ooh, White Balloons can actually force some defense. So let's do that. Go for Powerful Darts on this one. I don't think that I don't think that attack defends Whites, right? Or does it? That's Bloon Boost. Really? Wow, that actually defends whites pretty well. The more you know, the more you know. Okay, well, we're Gucci. We're Gucci here. Our farms are actually pretty solid. Our farms are pretty solid here, which is always nice. But let's get the second Dartling down, just so we stop getting layered on so much. Because this is going to kind of pop the balloons towards the front, which is obviously more helpful, because now... Because now the whole map won't be full of black balloons the entire way, if that makes sense. We should also probably send black balloons. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to save up for a, uh, fourth tier, a third tier farm here, a banana plantation. Because we're already like halfway there. So, And then after that, we'll get my, ho my hero down. But they're going to open here. Really interesting, because they have tack. I feel like when people bring tack, most of the time they bring um, Gwendolyn, but... I guess Oban could make, make some work do here. Especially with the wall trees later. The wall trees definitely will help. The wall trees is so good with Oban, guys. Can't underestimate that. Cannot underestimate the wall trees there. Alright, but now we'll get my Oban down right about here. Beautiful. Is he going to send me the classic Region Zebra Rush of Death? Because that rush can be deadly. So we'll see. I'm going to get... Faster barrel spin. Yep, there it is. Let's target both my dartlings like this. Am I good against this? Okay, he's sending me pinks after it. That's just boost. The pinks make you boost is the thing. I couldn't have de defended that without boosting is the problem. Pinks make you boost. Okay, we had to rocket storm that. It's totally okay. We forced a rocket storm, I mean a blade maelstrom on their side. Totally good. We're Gucci. We can get a buckshot. Dude, if he's all out to me, if he region rainbow rushes me, I'm getting a buckshot. As weird as that sounds, it's actually the move. We forced another Maelstrom. Nice. This is just such a drain game right now. Wait, let's push through. We forced another Maelstrom. Leds. I see Leds. No, the Oban got him. The Oban got him. Okay, they're good. Let's go for a farm. Get two upgrades on that. My eco's actually decent, is the thing. So I think I'm in a decent position here. As crazy as it is, it is. My eco's good. So I'm not out of it. We 
We got our Buckshot down. We should be Gucci. Really? The Buckshot doesn't defend that? That's so stupid. That's literally so stupid. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. I'm never using Buckshot again. That upgrade's terrible. I thought that would have easily defended.